How's it going everyone? Brosam here. So uh, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to use patches and cheats with the PS4 emulator. Shad PS4. Some of you asked how to play Bloodborne on ultra wide uh, or other resolutions and such. In this video we're going to try to do that as simple as possible. So the first thing that you have to do is go to the GitHub page of uh, Shad PS4 and then you will go to actions and then you go to branch and here you type BB and then click on BB hacks and once it shows up you need to download the Windows Qt build which is right here this is the latest Windows uh, Qt build here so you need to download this one and then you need to go and download the uh, patches file which can be found here in this github page so you need to download Bloodborne Orbis this zip file here once you have both of those files uh, downloaded to your computer, we're going to go ahead and extract the uh, emulator files here. And then we're going to open the emulator. Okay, now I'm just going to type the location of the PS4 games and press OK. Now I'm just going to change uh, the setting here. Go to configure. I'm going to change this to sync. Apply, save. And I'm just going to change this for so we can see the games better. Okay. Now you go to the game that you want to install patches for it. And you right click and then you select cheats patches. And down here you're going to select uh, patches right here. Patches and down here you will select the location where you want to download the patches from. For example, I'm selecting Goldhand. So it's going to download the patches from the repository of Goldhand which also can be used with the native PS4. Here you can use the original patches of the of Bloodborne. Those are the original patches. And later we'll take a look at how to uh, do this with more resolution patches with more patches. So this is the original uh, patch file from Goldhan. You can enable and disable and just click save if you want to use it. So. To use the other patches, we're just going to go and select Chat PS4 and then we're going to click on uh, download patch here. This will not download the patches yet. Uh, this will only create a folder for us to put, to put the patch in. So let's go ahead and place the patch file, which is this one right here. We're going to place it in the correct uh, folder, which is in user and then patches. And then Shad PS4. This is the folder that was just created right now. And we'll simply drag and drop the Bloodborne patch file here. And then we're going to go back to the emulator. We're going to go back to the emulator and we're going to right click again. And then we're going to go to Cheats Patches, then Patches, and then we're going to scroll down. We're going to go down here select Shad PS4 and then we're going to click on download patches again. This will make the new patch show up here in few seconds. Okay. Press okay. And now you can see a new patch has been, has appeared. We're just going to click on it. And here you will see all of the new resolution patches. As you can see here, uh, the ultra wide uh, resolutions and also few more other patches lots of resolution patches for you here to choose from if uh, if your computer has a lot of vram you can go ahead and choose the ultra wide if you have a mid-range pc you can just go ahead with the 720p or even the 486p if your pc cannot handle the game and don't forget to click on save it is very important obviously so uh, disable in vsync will uncap the frame rates unlock game region here so lots of patches for you to choose from and once you're done selecting the patches you just need to press save unlike the cheats uh, we're going to take a look at them uh, you have to uh, start the game and then you have to start the cheats so let's go to the cheats here and we're going to select the gold hand and click on download cheats and now we should see the cheats appear in here. 
Okay, so here are the cheats for us to choose from. There's uh, infinite items and such. Uh, and pay attention to the author. Uh, so once you start the game, you can enable the, the cheats. So it is not, I'm just going to check them just to show you. But for you, you have to start the game first and then start the cheats. You can also download other cheats from other sources. Like here, I changed the source. But unfortunately, they are using the same cheat from the same author. Uh, usually, you may not find some specific cheats. So you download it from another source and then you will find more cheats. But in this case here, they are using the same cheat. So I'm just going to delete this one right here. I'm just going to delete this because they are literally the same. And that's how you download patches and cheats you can choose between the cheats files here as you can see there is no option yet here to delete the uh, patch file but that's how it is for now you can just choose one of the patch files and use it so that's it that's how you use the patches let's let's just go ahead and test the cheats on this uh, small game so i'm just gonna right click and then select cheats patches again and here I'm gonna select uh, gold hand and then click on download cheats and here okay we should see the cheats appear here infinite lives so uh, I'm just gonna check it now just to show you but it's best to not check it yet uh, until the game is launched so uh, it's now unchecked and the game has launched I'm just gonna walk into an enemy and you should see the number on the top left decreasing from five lives now it became four lives so that's why you don't enable it before you launch the game so you launch the game first so let's just go ahead and let him die again okay three lives now i'm gonna go and enable the cheat and cheat infinite lives okay there is no enable button there is no activate just check it and then we're gonna go back here three lives it should be two now once this character dies and there you go it's still three lives i'm gonna let it die more three lives and dead again still three lives so that's that's how you know the cheats are working so uh you can see it's infinite lives here it's not moving at all it should be zero lives by now but it is still three lives so the cheats are working it is very important that you start the game first and then you enable the cheats so uh, that's how you use the cheats and patches uh, easily with shad ps4 uh, now i'm going to use uh, another game which is red dead redemption uh, by going to settings and then going to change the uh, games directory to a usb drive and then right click on the game select cheats and patches as always go to patches and it has uh, three patches here 60 fps and uh, also skipping the intro it's downloaded from the uh, gold hand repository so this one skips the intro and also uh, it has 60 fps which is better than using the v blank divider so i'm just gonna run it so yep that's it uh that is the end of this video this is basically how to use uh patches and cheats uh this is how to use more patches with bloodborne because the original patch file does not have a lot of resolutions so uh yeah that's it that's the end of this video if you like this content if you found this video helpful make sure to hit that like button Hit that subscribe button and if you want to support the channel there is a thanks button under the video that's all for me take care i will see you soon see ya